Well, it's November 16th. Been uh, waiting for it to dry up after the wettest October. So, calling for uh, snow in the forecast. So I think this is the last chance we're going to have to get the grain off. It's going to be wet, frozen, but uh, deal with it in the bin. It's the old girl. I'll get that one going second, but this one doesn't have the chopper on it, so we'll get it going first. Took all day to get the swather pulled out of the mud and started. Okay. So, I haven't done a video since I did the fuel pump upgrade on this little girl. We just had some issues with the factory pump on the 318 pulling the fuel up. Even if there was a slight blockage in the uh, bowl there. So now I've got a Summit filter and a Summit electric pump. Puts out way too much flow. Initially when I ran it, I had a regular regulator up there and it deadheaded the pressure. This combine didn't use enough fuel and the fuel pump actually heated up the fuel and would draw pressure. So I had to put this bypassing one in. I ended up uh, just running the return line back to the fuel tank. So when this pump's running, the uh, float bowl's more like a flow indicator because it's just a tornado of fuel in there. <laughs> Eventually I might put a smaller pump on it, but that's what fit the budget at the time. Okay, so I'll uh, stop the video, climb up there. So basically the pressure comes up the bottom, recycles out the side, fuel to the motor from the top. I ran a in into the uh, motor here. I've been meaning to upgrade this, but ran out of parts, so I just used uh, some stuff I laying around carbon steel nipple and some small quarter inch tubing and pressure gauge to the cab so this thing hasn't started in oh eight weeks I believe I'll uh, climb in the cab and uh, try it I haven't checked this battery it might be dead but we'll find out Ooh, check the oil this is probably going to be black. Uh, eh, a little red. Holy. Hard to focus there, but right on the full. Doesn't look that bad, it'll be good enough for the what, 50 acres we have this year. Okay. This is a 1975 white 5542. You can see I have a uh, 12 volt LED and a three way toggle switch there. Um, little indicator there. Bottom is pump on with the key, middle's off, top is prime, so it'll run without the uh, fuel on and 7.5 amp, I have a fuse in behind the panel here. So, let's just see if the battery's good. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, pressure already jumped. So, let's choke her and try it. Idle. Yeah, fuel set for onto the key. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. Battery's too dead. I'll uh, swap out the batteries and we'll try this video. This will work.
let her warm up for a bit. The old CVT. Woo! So other than uh, my dad leaving uh, two feet of grain in the hopper and it filling up with water, so we've had the most rain in quite a few years this year, and the access door rusting off. <laughs> oh, daylight. Should be able to get the crop off this year. And back up. I'll get mine going too, but governor went wide open, blew some of the belts off, so. Since they're off, might as well check stuff. I found some uh, missing ball bearings. So I'll have to grab some from the one down the hill. Okay, right, well, if we do get in the field, I'll do some videos of this one running, maybe the other one. But she runs smooth for an antique. <laughs> <laughs> 